sometimes a test car just begs us to do a road trip. Introducing the latest generation, the G05 BMW X5. Familiar in a lot of ways, but the kidney grounds have got even wider. She's a talking point on BMWs lately. You can just see the lines. They are really stunning. You can see BMW laser lights fitted on this particular car over here. The massive 22 inch non-standard accessory wheels fitted to this particular car as well. Check out the motorsport badge over there because that's going to tell you something quite important in a couple of moments. The lines of the X5 are familiar. They didn't change too much when they changed the new generation. But you come round of course to the back over here. The new tail lights you can see over here, they have been changed quite significantly as well. But this is the legend I want you to look at. Yes, M50D. Also given away by look at those two massive tailpipes over there in the corners as well. Press a button of course and your boot pops open. Nice large boot, very very big. Also a split tailgate, very interestingly I press that button and that pops down as well to give you nice access as well and if you really want a seat when you're out horse racing or really living the jet set life that this car demands. Of course as standard you can drop rear seats if you really want and make it into a two-seater with massive space but I don't know it's not about that this car this is about lifestyle. Press buttons of course to close the tailgate as well it's got everything you'd ever demand from the car. M50D, keep that in mind because we're going to talk about it much more when we get inside. It's on the open road that this car absolutely comes into its own. I've got it set on cruise control right now and one of the absolutely incredible features which shows in the heads up display is I've actually got my hands off the steering wheel and there is a level of autonomous driving which in other words it's steering itself even around these corners and the bends that we're on now. I don't know if I'd do it on a mountain pass specifically but boy oh boy when you're doing a tear and now I've got my hands off the wheel again and if you're looking ahead of us now you'll see that it's just cruising round a bend a gentle bend over here holding the speed as I've set it and it just absolutely is a dream and if you ever want to do really relax while you're driving with my hands up in the air as you can see and then every so many seconds about 30 seconds or so it requires you to put your hands back onto the steering wheel to prove that you are still in control. But this is an amazing feature, part of, of course, the suite of features that are on this vehicle, and it's just yet another one. But just cruising in absolute, total and utter comfort, and I'm loving every second of driving this car through the rolling hills of the south coast, southern Natal, and you can see beautiful green all around us. This is what makes a trip like this, of course, a treat of a lifetime and just makes it such a pleasure to be driving on a trip like this. You also have lane departure warning, which works with this. Almost a little bit too vicious in my mind, where when it pulls you back into line, it doesn't just warn you, it literally pulls the car back. A feature, I think, of the car. We're coming up behind another vehicle now. It's already warning me there's the vehicle and it's busy slowing me down and slowing us down as we come along towards this vehicle and it's dropping the speed all along showing me and you can see this is the active cruise control absolutely in action right now and working all along it's dropped us from 125 kilometers an hour now we're down to 99 at the moment behind the vehicle in front and as soon as we get the chance of course to go past you'll feel how the car will accelerate back up to the set speed that I've set on the system as well overall just absolutely so easy I think is the word I want to use and if we wait just and watch this for a few moments you'll see the sign in front of me now telling me it's about to split into a dual lane and you'll feel as we go past this guy how it accelerates itself and slowing itself down because the taxi seems to be one of those that actually drives a bit slowly for once but uh, isn't that typical they either drive way too fast or way too slow don't suppose it really matters but it's retailing him nicely and you'll see in a couple of seconds, thank you, he's going to the left-hand lane. So in other words, we now are going to be clear in a couple of seconds. And here we go, and here comes the acceleration. I think you can feel it accelerating back up to my set speed. And there we go, past him. 
all done without me touching of course the pedals in any way and I can take my hands off the steering wheel every now and then as well as we go along and just watch a nice curve but it's telling you put your hands on take them back off again and you feel the curve again telling me to get my hands on the wheel or else because I'm coming up behind another taxi as well Of course, like all BMWs, there is the com consideration of extras, of standard spec, etc. If you have a look at this sheet over here, the standard base price is just on 1.5 million rand. 240,000 rands worth of extras, that may sound like a lot, but a lot of them are really amazing extras as well. The adaptive M suspension, 52,000 rand, yes, but... It does give you that adaptive suspension, which is really brilliant. You have got a launch package, which includes the incredibly smart-looking seats, etc. Your night vision with object recognition. Let me tell you, I've seen this in operation. You're driving along, there's a pedestrian to the side of the road. A red little man flashes up in front of you. It is absolutely amazing. I don't know how it works. And the screen, actually, if you get a bit close, there's a red flash on the screen. It is amazing. You've got panoramic front roof, uh, sunroof, of course. I mentioned the 22-inch wheels. You've got massage function on the two front seats. We certainly enjoyed that on the trip down. I can tell you that much. You've got a soft close system for the doors. You've got, of course, this over here, which is really incredible. This glass application, crafted clarity, they call it, on the gear lever. The crystal gear lever. Talk about class. It really is. You've got, of course... Uh, Harman Kardon sound system you've got the large screen you've got absolutely everything on this car which quite honestly I expect at 1.75 million approximately as it stands right now and as we're driving it but the bottom line is what a pleasure driving this car you look over here now and you find features like you have got charging for your cell phone in there if you want it the gear lever I mentioned a few moments ago, of course, it powers BMW standard 8-speed automatic gearbox. You will never feel a shift in this car unless you are really pushing it and rushing it along. It's got, of course, Sport Comfort Eco Pro Adaptive. You've got all your multi-mode on your transmission over here as well. I'm going to come back to it, but we have essentially driven in comfort mode only couple of minutes in eco pro i really don't see the need for sport and i'm going to tell you why i don't see a need for sport this engine three liter six cylinder diesel with four turbos yes quad turbo i repeat puts out 294 kilowatts and 760 newton meters of torque that's incredible we've cruised in this car we've done this long road trip you'll see in a few moments how long the trip has been Yet we've achieved absolutely amazing economy. I'm going to start the engine quickly. I'm going to show you the economy figure that we've achieved as the sound system comes on at the same time. We have done 841 kilometers so far on this trip. The reading is 7.1 liters per hundred. And I can tell you that when we arrived from the road trip, a hundred or so kilometers back, it was actually showing 6.8 for the trip down from Johannesburg to the south coast. So the consumption has gone up a little bit, town driving, but even 7.1 in an engine like this, the power, the performance potential, everything else in this car, it is unbelievable. Let me also tell you that according to the instrumentation, we still have 207 kilometers left in the tank range. So we are talking a comfortable thousand kilometer range in this vehicle. I find that incredible. You do have, of course, your cruise control, which is adaptive. And we tested that quite thoroughly on the trip down. Brakes as a car comes in front, re-accelerates when the gap is there. Unlike some cruise control systems, the acceleration back to the, set you've spe the speed you've set is actually very gentle and relaxed. It's not one of those absolute surges that some do give you. I enjoy that as well. Of course, you've got the full BMW infotainment system with some push buttons instead of just the standard scroller over here which I have found a bit easier to use and made that a lot easier you can see here as I've run through the scrolling system and go to media for example 
and there's the USB that we have in the car at the moment. Nice and easy to use and you just scroll down. Simple, it's got a lot easier after all the criticism people seem to have on the system over the years. Beyond that, it's got every single luxury. Obviously, electric seat adjustment on both driver's and passenger seat. You've got dual zone climate control. You've got a nice storage area over here. I mentioned the beautiful brownie tan colored leather trim. You've got that dual panoramic roof, tons of space in the back seat with separate controls for aircon in the back seat as well. This car is certainly and very definitely built for the man who has everything and wants everything. There are competitors. There are lots of competitors. You go to the Mercedes, have competitors, Jaguar. You can go up to the Bentley, Bentayga, even the Audi Q7. There are lots. I don't think that matters. If you're a BMW man and you want this unusual combination of that quad-turbo diesel engine, well, that's something pretty special. Overall, it's been an absolute experience. We're about to drive back up to the big smoke and take the cruise back to see what that's like again. I know it's going to be an easy drive, that's for sure. But overall, it's been a stunning test in an absolutely, I have to say it, stunning vehicle. You've got other features that I haven't even mentioned. I mentioned laser headlights. Let me tell you, when you're up on the open road, you want high beam. The lighting is incredible as well. It's features like that that make this car different. And quite honestly, I believe, make it worth the kind of money you are talking about. For Matter Matters, I'm Alan R, and I'll see you next time.